Welcome to another episode of Weird Beard Fishing, y'all. So today, I'm going to show you guys one of the tough times. Uh, me and my dad had went to Lake Erie for a little weekend trip. Uh, but we didn't know that during that same weekend, there was going to be a FLW Pro Tournament. And they were also going out of Sandusky Bay. So... That wasn't exactly the best time. Uh, it was very, very slim pickings. We were able to find some fish, but you know it's a struggle. Sometimes you gotta grind. It is what it is. Uh, we did actually end up catching quite a few species that we weren't expecting to. But I'm gonna show you guys some of the bad times. Like, like everybody says, "Oh man, you catch so many fish." You guys don't understand how much I really fish. I am fishing. Probably, I don't know, during the summer, man, I'm probably fishing for like, I don't know, 8 to 10 hours after I'm done working my 40-hour job. I'm going right after work. So I work from 6 to 2, and then I get off, and then I'm fishing from 2 to 9. So let's just say I fish for 7 hours after I get off work. Um... And there's a lot of times that are down. Most of the time, you guys only see the good times. You see the good times I've caught a bunch of fish, or you see some really cool experience. You don't see all of the grind. So I've decided I'm going to show you guys some of the grind. Um, it's not extremely eventful. There is quite a bit of learning involved, you know, with this video. And, you know, just, you know, shenanigans. Just entertainment. But uh, I'm going to be changing it up a little bit. Tell me how you guys like it. Leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it, guys. All right, guys. Third day. And it's looking like it's going to end up being a cloudy one. So today is definitely going to be different. It's been sunny every single day. So hopefully today actually ends up being a better day. It should make moving baits a lot better. I just love the sound of it. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love the sound of my ass hanging over your boat one. <laughs> Watching floaters go by. Can I, be, can I shoot in your house? Megan straight wood, and she's so innocent and cute, they'd be like, okay. Well, woman, yeah. Can you help me? <laughs> I, I, I really, really gotta take a shit! <laughs> what the f is going on here? Oh. Ah! That sun coming out. Well, we might as well try something. Oh, yeah, this is that one. I Two in. Two in. Thanks, Jeff, for saying throw the jig in here. I said it. We haven't flipped it. Nope. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. He chunky. He got a dirty butthole. He's laying in the mud. Huh? Look at his butt. He's laying in the mud. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, what would you rather go with? The beaver style? Rage claw, the, that. This? Like, because of the, the muddy water. You want to displace water. The other one. The beaver, I think that's why the beaver is not the one to catch it. It's not displacing the water. I think your the pitcher is what's doing Floppers. Oh yeah. That was pretty good. 
It's a heavy that rage coral. That's what the pros use and, all the time. And it's, it's the heavy black and blue swim jig. Yeah, I like that. I don't like that. Oh, look. Go to the back of the boat. Yeah. Look. Come up, come up. Go up here, right along the dock. Right along the dock. Hey. Just go to the fing dock. I'll get I'll get off on the damn thing. Well, you, then you have me just sitting here. Don't do that. Yeah, you can yeah. I'm not flipping this. It's the same as right there. Yeah. I'll I'll be two seconds. Yeah. Don't flip, flip, flip. It. Yep. I'm doing it. Hey, go around and meet me meet me over here so you can fish those little cuts you wanted to. Huh? You know what I think it is? I think the fish are just out, out on the mouth. Coming back in. Allen Point's coming back in. Man. Actually, I take that back as a white perch. That's your first white perch. First deal, guy. Ooh, there, bud. Okay, okay. Were you just go, were you just going straight out, or? Yeah, I just used to holding the trolling motor. Yeah. It's a drum fish. Where are you going? Oh, where am I going? I'm trying to get this off and not get stuck. Here. Go around that. You got no go around the backside and pick Oh it. my god. Well, what do you want me to do? You could have walked that way. I was already coming around the front. And you got you got a bunch of shit all over your hands. Uh, Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you even think about it. Why are the drum hitting the perch? Look, here's men running. They're like. Ah! Look! Look at all the shad all over the. Jeez, yeah, we haven't seen that really yet. Yeah, we have. Yes, on those other points? Yes. 100%. All right, see? Nice one. Oh my. Yes. Yeah, nice. Come here, bud. Hey, you know what you just said? What? A fish that is a fish that were released from that FLW tournament? Yeah. Yep, yeah, got other hooks in it. Fresh, fresh hook mark right on the bottom of his lip, and that is not where I hooked him. What's that? What are you doing? No, that was a giant f***ing You didn't see a giant boat? No. One, one fish for today. Whew. Jesus. Yep. I thought it was a snag. I'm like, this can't be a fish.
Well, this is a lot shallower than all the other places we've been. It was five foot in there and yeah. seven foot right here. This is more the depth of your fish on the other side. Yes. You're welcome. You're gonna call it. I was gonna call it. But like you said, I don't count one fish. There's a fish right there. Man, I told you guys it was going to be a struggle. I mean, we fished for like 12 hours and I caught one fish. But sometimes you gotta have those struggle days to learn things. Like you learn what not to do on certain conditions. Dad caught a few fish, we caught other species of fish. I caught the one bass. One thing that we realized is that we were fishing stuff that was probably a little bit too shallow. We should have been fishing a little bit deeper. We should have went out a little farther. But the thing was that the conditions, the conditions were bad. We couldn't go out that far. Especially in my gambler, it doesn't handle rough water very well. But with that rough water, we were kind of just tucked away in Sandusky Bay and had a, we just had to stay there. I couldn't go out and fish for smallmouth. Um, but you know, it was, it is what it is. You just got to deal with the hand you're dealt. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you live there. You can't just go out anytime. Be like, oh, conditions are good today. Uh, I was like, Hey, I'm taking, you know, a Friday off of work and I'm going to go up there for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and you know, like I said, it is what it is. It's a learning experience. Until the next time, I'll catch you on the next episode of Weird Beard Fishing.